whenever you're coming to your partner with something that's bugging you, you have to tell them what you want, not what you don't want. And I've said this before, I'm going to say it again so you can really hear me. The big mistake I think most people make is that they jump in with the judgment and the criticism as they tell their partner what they're doing that's bugging them. Hence, right, remember, hence wrong, with the wrong thing their partner is doing. (laughs) And again, to me, that's like an open invitation for defensiveness and anger. So instead, you, again, you want to be in a connected place. You want to set up all the pieces well, right? And so you're, and you're coming from a more loving, calm place when you do that, by the way, which is really great. And instead, you might start, just start with a question about, that's around what you're thinking of or just start with what you want to see more of or you can combine it as a question of what you want to see more of (laughs) it might be something like um you know again when you're in a good place hey babe I'm, i'm missing you i want to connect a little bit when can i have some time for just the two of us today or later you know like when can that happen you might you might do it that way. You might, well, I've used this question before with sex, you know, what would you like to see more of in our sex life? You know, uh, what would you like to see more of in our relationship is another one. You know, you can just ask that. What, what would you like to see more of in the relationship? How, when do you feel most connected to me? What am I doing that you're like, this is my person? Like, this is my person. What am I saying to you? Find out that. Get inquisitive because again when you can figure that out you can figure out a good time to talk to them about (laughs) whatever's bothering you by the way Um, but as you start to ask questions it's very natural for the other person not always right away so don't get too caught up in this but it's kind of natural for them at some point to ask sometimes they'll just say well why are you asking that you know and they're because they're so worried that they're now going to get pounced on and you really and don't don't bite the bait just say you know I don't know I just I really like I want to feel more connected to you. So um, that's where I'm starting. So so you can bite the bait a little, but don't go into what they're doing wrong. It's not like, well, you've just been playing video games all the time and I feel so disconnected. To instead just say, I'm just looking for ways to feel more connected to you. So I'm looking for how you feel more connected. You know, I, I love you and I, I just want to have, I want to deepen our connection. I'm always looking for ways. So I figure the best person to ask is you. And there you go, you know, and then you're starting that conversation and you're leaving aside this hot topic of the video game or the not helping at night with the kids or the, and I'm not saying you can't get there at some point. I'm saying you can't start there. If people jump in so quickly with the big hot button topic, but there's not enough groundwork. There's not enough foundation on the house to get there. So you're trying to build the second floor of your house and you don't have a good foundation. So it keeps falling down. 